we are highly dependable on our smartphone right without using our smartphone it's very difficult to uh, survive a day at least there are many different social media apps there are many different applications that we use every single day but how to make our smartphone work for us how to make our smartphone making us more productive in this video i will share 10 apps that i feel i can't live without them i'm using these 10 apps to the maximum level and they are making me more productive i will share those 10 apps first in the list is canva without canva it is difficult for me to even survive a day it might be professional work or it might be personal work i use canva for literally everything it might be creating posts or creating uh, social media panels or creating even my youtube thumbnails i use 90 percent of canva for most of the things most of the design things so canva is something which plays an important role it increases a lot of productivity for me personally so i feel canva is something that everyone should have in their mobile phones because even in the free version you can literally do many different things on canva and second in the list is notion notion is an app which is like a diary or which is like a journal for me I can literally write down anything so it's not that I cannot write that in book but writing in Notion and sharing them is very convenient way for me. Uh, it might be like you can have your content calendars there, what content to post on every single day on what particular day. If I'm working with uh, other freelancers, it's easy for me to share my Notion page there. I can also post something and share that as a web URL. We can directly publish into a free web app as well. So there are many different things that you can do with Notion. Once you start using Notion, you will definitely get habituated with that. And number three in the list is InShot. InShot is a mobile video editing app. I personally use it on my Android mobile. So for editing most of the content, uh, short video content and some big videos as well, I use InShot. It's very convenient to use in InShot. Uh, you can directly do all kind of editing stuff, adding music or creating codes. Most of the times like I do editing on my mobile itself to save time and in short is something that will help me to do so. And number four in the list is obviously ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT in my mobile as well for most of the things. If I want to, if I'm working on something in mobile, oh, it might be if I want to send some uh, my email or something or if I want to do some research on something but I uh, don't have a laptop with me or if I'm outside, I simply open my ChatGPT in browser and search for whatever I want or ask ChatGPT whatever I wish to. So it's very easy app. Of course, ChatGPT, most of the people use them on their laptop, but I also use that on my mobile as well. So, so that, yeah, you can make the most out of it anytime without depending on whether you have a laptop or not. And number five in the list is Discord. Because of the mid journey, I started using Discord, but Discord is a very great app. You can integrate many different apps into Discord. You can create community spaces there and you can interact with people and you can also do many different types especially mid journey so because like i use mid journey regularly so i added in my discord and i'm using discord literally every single day these days and number six in the list is trello trello is a kind of planning app for me i can literally write down anything there uh, if a sudden thought come into my mind i will just open my trello and i will create a card and write whatever i want even the video content I use it to write down on Trello. I will create a board and I will add a YouTube title there and write on what are the ideas that are, in the, that are there in my mind. Even if I'm traveling, I just open Trello app and write down my thoughts. You never expect when will good thoughts will strike your mind and you don't want to miss that opportunity of storing them somewhere. So Trello is something that is exactly serving the same purpose for me. Number seven in the list is Loom. Loom is a basically a screen recording app. You can record up to five minutes for free in Loom. So most of the screen sharing videos that I make on YouTube, I will record using Loom. It's a very convenient to app. Most of the times you can use it for free. You don't need to pay anything. If you feel you don't no longer need those recordings, you can delete them and you can have new recordings as well. It will have 25 free recordings initially. So if you delete them, you can uh, get back that number again. So it's something which is helping especially for content creators like me because I can literally record anything instantly using Loom. Number 8 in the list is Pixel Lab. So Pixel Lab is something which is an image editing platform I can say. For most of the basic editing uh, pics which needs text to be written on that, I use Pixel Lab. It's yeah again handy platform for me, handy app for me because most of the times uh, it might be posting a meme related content or of something uh, update related content i can use pixel app easily 
which will save a lot of time as well. And number nine in the list is opening app. So most of the links, most of my YouTube links, if I post it on Instagram or WhatsApp or other social media platforms, it's difficult for people to click them because if you are opening a YouTube link on Instagram, it will open in another browser, but it will not open in YouTube app. So which will not uh, help me because it will not count as a view sometimes and people cannot subscribe there because it will again ask them to log in and all. If I use opening app and I paste my YouTube video link there and if I paste it on, uh, I mean if I share it on Instagram or other platforms, if people click on that link, they will be redirected to YouTube app directly instead of uh, getting, taking them to new browser. Not only YouTube, you can uh, paste Instagram links, LinkedIn links, any link like it will directly take you to the particular app instead of taking you to the browser. And 10 and last in the list is Notes app. It's a very basic thing. It might be a Notes app in Android mobile or Notes app in iPhone. But Notes app is something which will help me to write down my thoughts. So for YouTube uh, video thoughts and all I write down in Trello. But for normal thoughts, if I want to post something on LinkedIn and I got that thought at uh, 2 a.m. midnight. So like that is not the ideal time to post. I will write down in notes. See whatever it might be, whatever it, whatever the thought it might be or if I'm calculating my budget, if I'm writing down what are the expenses that I made, I simply open notes and write down there. So this is a very convenient app. You might feel like that's a very simple thing but if you start cultivating the habit of writing down your thoughts and ultimately it makes you more productive. So these are all the 10 apps that I regularly use and I can't live without because these are a part of my day and these are all making me productive these are all not making me lazy or not making me addicted towards my smartphone but instead all these apps are making me productive so I advise you to look at these apps if you are not already using them i hope you find it valuable through my insights and if you are a new visitor to my channel please subscribe to my channel also like this video and share this in your network if you fail it will add value to any of the people in your network thank you for watching